Hi, David. Hey. Are you ready? I think so. Oh, look. It's Oliver. <laughs> That's how you know we're ready. That's how you know we're ready. Except, am I ready? Because I'm on Pokemon. But that's not what we're playing. It's not. So last time we did the pumpkin serpent, right? Because that was the evil pumpkin. Yep. With the debate of fruit versus vegetable. So we did that. Yep. You told you said I need to go here next. Yep. I would go ahead and knock off those three. Um, since they end in a dead end, and it gets you the. Last item you need to be able to progress through the actual game. The other way. Yep. Saves you from having to suddenly backtrack way down the road. Okie dokie. Sleeping village it is. Yes. So no Stupid murdering people. Pokemon, get your little ball. That's what happens when you try to multitask. I know, I shouldn't have checked Pokemon Go before we jumped into the game. Try to try to save people, trying to catch Pokemon at the same time. Trying to play a D&D. Well, it's just too much uh, task all at once. I caught him. Huh? Perfect timing. As I feel like it's almost unloading. Yep. It's a warm welcome you just received. Ah. This music automatically ma makes me think of uh, Hallow Scream from last last night. You weren't there last night. Oops. Well, that's one uh, spear down. Do I get more spears? You can buy more. Wow, that was a direct hit. There we go. Yeah, look at that blood splatter. Oh, that's right. We were going to... Uh, read a couple more uh, entries. Read a couple entries. But yeah, Hallow Scream... The England portion mm -hmm. makes me think of that. All right, so we're gonna jump into enemies. Yeah, zombies. These guys were fashionably undead before it was fashionable to be undead. Your brain may have long since rotted away, but that won't stop them from eating it. Just a few chops should do them in. Be careful not to miss. That would be embarrassing. Wanted it though. Dan's number one fans. They can't afford to lend a hand, but they'll follow you to the ends of the earth, or at least. To the ends of the graveyard. These gargoyle guardians are these guardian gargoyles aren't much for conversation, and don't ask to hear their singing voices unless you're into rock and roll. But um, headless zombies. Have you ever had one of those days where you leave the house full of breezy purpose, only to realize that you've left something really important at home? Well, that's how these guys feel all the time. Imps. Back in King Peregrine's day, imps were often kept as household servants. Sadly, these those were cruel times, and many imps were treated very poorly by their masters. Really, it was no surprise when their, these cunning little creatures formed a secret alliance with Zarok. On the morning of the Battle of Galamir, every last one of King Peregrine's men awoke to find his house imp gone, and along with them, every last undergarment in the kingdom. Never before had an army's charge been so devastatingly broken before the battle had even begun. I think that's a good place to stop. Yeah. Considering we just heard about the underwear mutiny. I mean, it's a very serious, uh... Poor villagers. <laughs> the master possesses them. It mustn't hurt them. Hurt guards, though. They seek out an object of great power. Alright, so that's them telling you not to hurt... Yep. The villagers, but the guards are cool to go. Yep. Which is evident by the fact that you start off with 61% for your chalice. Doesn't help that she's creepy as shit. Yeah. I think that's just Ooh. typically how it works when you're possessed. Yeah, you just become creepy. ten times creepier. Yep. What's this? A, a crucifix once stood here, but the mayor took it. Find a replacement and see how the church should really look. Alright, so we got... That's right, we have to craft a cha... Uh, not a chalice, a crucifix. <laughs> yep.
<laughs> Just taking out all your frustration on the local mice, huh? Uh, they're rats, David. Sorry. No! Ow! Just a door opening up for you as soon as you get near. No big deal. So I need the moon rune. Yep. Because you know you can't climb fences. Ooh, money! Money! Go away, little girls. Ah! Ow. Run away. Are you he's a merchant? Yep. Uh, ah! <laughs> Stop it! Go away! Oh, oh, Stop it! Oh, oh, she's beating you up with a frying pan. Get out of my house! <laughs> But, like, getting... Oh, right, don't do that. Yeah, because that'll actually hurt them this time. Yeah, one of those unfortunate parts. <laughs> ah! Leave me alone, Ethel. <laughs> but you're in her house again. Now you're sneaking down into her basement where she keeps all her rats. Chess. Found a club. It's like they're trying to tell you to smash things. Like the rats. <laughs> ha. Ah. 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 Okay, a little bit of money, a little bit of money. It's like I can't hurt him. There's a thing up there. There is. Bust of Mr. Shanks, landlord of the Troll's Head. To clean the statue, lower the pedestal. Uh, <laughs> if only. So I need to get in there. Yep. And yet, using the hammer would hurt him. Right? As long as you lure these people away, you'll be fine. There you go. I didn't kill him. Yep. Which is what matters, right? Yep. They're at least a little forgiving with that one. <laughs> the unfortunate daring dash part, not so forgiving, which sucked. But... <laughs> At least that, where they know you have to get in there. <laughs> right. I think if you maybe get too close when you smash, or if you're trying to smash all of them and... Right. Oh, he's guarding that door. There you go, get that bust. Huh? Huh? Err. Goodbye. Alright, metal bust. Yeah. Goodbye. Uh, look Goodbye. At that, look at all that rotten food. Bye, asshole. I feel like they wouldn't be starving as much if they actually, you know, ate the food before it rotted. Mm-hmm. Yeah, interesting. What, does it show you where to go? No, the guards are showing up already. So I guess just go there first when they just immediately uh, show up. Makes it a lot easier. Probably because I have the bus. Mm. There might still temporarily be, uh, you know, people every now and then. The rune key is held aloft but the for the most part, it should just be the guards now. Yeah, use that sword. Hey, it works. Because if I take them out and get the chalice, I don't have to worry about hurting people then, right? Yeah. 
not the way you're supposed to look at it, but... <laughs> I mean, <laughs> never hurt the innocent. <laughs> you mean as long as I get the chalice first? <laughs> I mean, I, I can't talk. I accidentally killed two people. So I know you can at least kill two people and still get the chalice. Don't I need to use this? Eventually. Blacksmith's monthly. Old man Willie Green of Gallows Town was awarded uh -huh. Smithy of the Season by our readers. His outstanding casts have produced many intricate and hard-wearing iron goods and sculptures. Willie only uses the finest of metals in his work and is particularly noted for his magnificent busts. I think we have one. Oh, I think that's a titty joke. Yeah. Saying, is it a titty I joke? I think it's a titty joke. The way it was uh, no said makes it me. seem like it's... it's all in the rhythm. Up and down, up, up and down. down. A lot of titties. Like that kind of... He locks the titties up and down. Up and yeah. down. Perky and saggy. Big and small. Round and flat. Puffy and perky. Wait, what? <laughs> We're learning all kinds of things about this blacksmith. He's a tit man. I hear soldiers. Oh no, that's the rune. I mean, there might also be soldiers. Where do I go? I don't remember. Uh, maybe in here? No, nope, not nope, in there. Nope. Not in there. <laughs> That was uh, bad. Go back behind you. Wait, well... Uh, you should be able to go to the library. Oh! Oh, nope, never mind. Uh, I have to do a drought. Remember where the two girls were? Yeah. Go there. Um, actually, it was behind you. Oh, no. Never mind. That's the lake. That's where you gotta go after you get everything. Oh, God. So yeah, uh... It told me to... It, to do that, I'd need a drought. Yep, yeah, where the two girls are, there's a section you can walk by to get by the water. And there's a lever you get over here. Oh, right. Yeah, I missed that, because I was running around so crazily. Yeah... I mean, it's it's only fair, you know, trying to avoid getting. I'm trying not to murder children. Yeah. It's a new it's a new day for me. And also, just trying not to be murdered by children. Also a thing. Okay. Now you can go to the library and watch out in here. History of Ganymede, Volume Two. I guess I should have read Volume One first. Probably. <laughs> History of Ganymede, Volume One. During Are we going to learn about Tees? Galamir's not too distant past. No. It was King Peregrine who thwarted Zerok the Necromancer and his plan to enslave the land. Though they may have some. Zerok, once the king's mage, had fallen out of favor with the ruler for conducting outlandish experiments on the bodies of the dead. Well, that's what a necromancer does. It was on his resume. You should have paid attention, King Peregrine. Yeah, I mean... Restless. They're pretty they open about it. Honored, right? What necromancer in fantasy, fantasy is secret? I know. As he banished Zerok from the well, some of them are. Of yeah, but a lot of them are like, yeah, hey, my name's Frank, I'm a necromancer. I don't see why y'all frown on this thing. Went into hiding and vowed to wreak his revenge on the king. Alright, well, volume two. History of Galamir, volume two. I have no ass. I mean, you are a skeleton. The land of I guess. It is technically all, Zero you know, fat and muscles. Like. <laughs> I don't have a fat ass? Castle. Oh, because I'm a skeleton. I see what you mean. Yeah. Zero I thought you were saying a skeleton was all fat and muscles, and I was like, okay. <laughs> no, I'm that saying... just the, proves my point. I'm saying the ass is... Uh, <laughs> with your scientific inaccuracies. Even the pumpkin lands belong to Zero. Oh. The My bad. folk of Gallows Town cried out for help. Save us, good King Peregrine. In case you wanted to read that. Well, in case you wanted to read that. Okay. King Peregrine's forces, 
led by the brave Sir Fortescue, drove Xerox's army back from Gallows Town. Oh, there was much rejoicing, but the war was not yet over. You go, Fortescue. Oh God, History we got a book to read. Gallimere, volume three. There's four of these books. Xerox's army had yep. now and a couple more. Bloodlands caused much concern. From this vantage point, Zarok could march west to take the Enchanted Forest. Hey, we're going there soon. This we are. This would prove a bitter defeat if it fell into the hands of the evil sorcerer. It was Sir Dan Fortescue who once again led the king's militia to rid the demon host from the land. Yet the evil wizard was cunning and had prepared an ambush. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Titanic battle ensued, of which history has never seen the light. It is said that the day would have gone to Zerok. Hand me my soda while, while this gets narrated to us. Fortescue led the charge deep into the massed ranks of the undead, felling Zerok's bodyguard, the fearful Lord Cog, <sighs> and before finally succumbing to his own mortal wounds. So they claimed I killed everybody. Yep. With a Even though we know that Canny Tim is the one who took down Cardock. Yep. Ow! I'm trying to read. This is a library. And it's safe to assume other people won those battles. The forces of evil were destroyed, but at a terrible price. None but a handful of the king's militia returned from that field. Galamir lost a whole generation of young men that day. Oh, they, they mistook us for Canny Tim and Canny Tim for us. So Canny Tim is the one that probably killed everybody. Yep. Xerox's body was never found. Instead, they Though mark him down as being the first one to die. Gray, then no one in Galamir would shed a tear. The shadow demons that had fallen under Xerox's banner were unnatural creatures that did not belong in the world of mortal men. Mm -hmm. The mm -hmm. king declared that they be banished, entombed under the pure earth of the enchanted earth. Oh, that's a warning to what's coming next. <laughs> an impregnable box of the king's design. The demons were buried. What? They're buried. The There's nothing to worry Their about. The tomb was sealed with a magical See? device. See, sealed with a magical it device. To be known as the shadow artifact. You mean the thing that Zarok is searching for right now in this very city? Yeah, I'm sure. Uh... Tourist guide to Galamir, part one. The land of Galamir is a wondrous land of breathtaking sights and All right, adventures. dragon birds. If it's beauty, you alone. Dragon toads, Be pumpkin sure valley, to pumpkins. Sun. Cool. Yeah. As you expect from a library, there's a lot of uh, books. If it's mystery you're looking for, uh, the king's crown was lost in the dungeon below the castle, and the ghost of the region himself haunts it. So he's looking for his yes, crown. This is the yeah, sure. Ow, go away. Ow. That one, I believe, just details heroes the different history, uh, people the in the Hall of Heroes. Chapter one. In addition to being the strongest cool. man who ever lived. Stan, your iron hewer was unsurpassed in his... Wow, that's a lot. Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> like I said, every single person in the Hall of Heroes. You might want to lure him away. So you don't accidentally kill him like I did. Hey, look, another book. To whom <laughs> it may concern, I uh -huh. must make haste, for Xerox men will be here within the hour. I have taken the crucifix from the church. It I mean, we could have read that from across the room. I used the cross to make the attached cast. Then I had it destroyed. It is my hope that this cast Realize that none of that says any of that. Of a just and good hero. It says, the town Oh, Norman suffering of found on a, a query? Found the tomb of Bellabone ball dreaming within the garden uh, garter robe grin. We know your intention that ye be smell so smocks. Know ye men of the book will not sit idle while wag halters sprunt bout the hall. We be thrunch. Curses of Mary Gall on ye. Munster seer. It's all code. Come on. Well, we were reading the message out of a book. I feel like that's pretty much going, hey, we know y'all dumb, but we have library books. <laughs> Point and thing is... He glitched outside, did you yeah. see that? Point and thing is, you know, the mayor 
with just an hour to spare, wrote all this down and hid everything away and... Time to play with the blacksmith's bus. Come on, Mel. Unfortunately, they did not speed this part up. <laughs> wow, this is riveting gameplay. Yeah. They really could have uh, made this go by a little quicker. There we go. Look at that. You got a crucifix. I wonder where that should go. Probably here where the giant crucifix is. What? And where the book said to put it? No. Hey, you could even get some healing. I'm gonna need it. Because uh... I'm unable to kill people. Well, where you're about to go, it'll pretty much be strictly guard soon. I got a key. And a gate just randomly opened. And a book. On my travels across Galenia, I have come across many mysterious and enchanting finds. However, that which filled me with deepest dread was that bully boy Zerok will stop at nothing to retrieve this item. I fear that he already knows that it what is the... I who possess it. What? Yours fearfully, the town mayor. Well, okay. Well, that is nothing like what was just said. Huh. Dear sir or madam, on my travels across Galenia, I have come across many mysterious and enchanting finds. We're on board so far. However, uh -huh. that which filled me with deepest dread was that bully boy Zerok will stop at nothing to retrieve Yeah, they definitely, item. uh... That's a glitch. That he already knows yeah. that it is I who possess it. Yeah, that's a glitch. Interesting. Because you even heard the audio, like, jump. Yeah. Well, okay, book. Way to be wrong. That way? No. No. Uh, it was actually back by the blacksmiths. How was it? Yeah, it should be the water... Uh, the waterfront. Ah! It might still be homeboy patrolling. Yep. Oh, God! Oh, you should go away. Oh, God. Ow. Ow. I don't like it. Go away. Oh, God. Why are you following me? Leave me alone. It's a good thing he can't go through there. Huzzah. All right. Notice my sword was enchanted for all of a second. I know, they still show it as enchanted for like the cutscenes. Alright, so now you shouldn't have to worry about villagers anymore. I've only got to kill one more. Woo. There's definitely more than one more left. You mean Jack Skellington? True. Hey look, it's three, four guys left. Yeah. Was the chalice on that bridge too? Uh, the chalice is... Chalice is I think actually where that guy was chasing you with the axe. Hmm. Well, that sucks. Unless you can get to it from in here, I don't remember. Uh, run around real quick. I mean, I don't have enough for it. I know, but... Oh, <clears throat> nope, actually, go back. To your left. Behind you. There we go. Ooh! Money! Alright, so we'll come back for that. You're more rich, and you got 
Once Full I kill health. one more of these guards. Which it should be one of these directions, right? Yeah, this way. Okay, I guess once I kill all of these guards. Yep. Just be careful, because uh, that gates the exit as well. So, once they die, it'll open up. Well, there we go. Yeah. And look, I didn't kill a single villager, unlike yep. some people. <laughs> To be fair, I was under the impression that the Daring Dash would still knock them down for a moment. You would assume. Yeah. But nope, it was just instant death. Capture that greedy profiteer, the town mayor. Take him to the asylum dungeons. Give the fat boy a good going over. Locate the sh- Okay. Cool. Nice of you to write down your plans in a book. And leave it in a place available for us to go through. But he doesn't have to worry about anybody defeating his mechanical guards. They're perfect in their design. I know. All right. I have eight. Yeah. I don't remember... Eight chalices. What did you get last time? The sword. The sword. So no, I got the spear. So, the spear... With the X, or no, the longbow. Yep, longbow. Look at you running around in your bones, Fortescue. You're so never dead. I'll gladly take the bow. I, Ravenhooves, Ravenhooves, have not galloped the earth in over ten thousand years. I think I just found the new NPC for the campaign. Do yourself a favor, <laughs> A centaur named Ravenhooves. More powerful than a crossbow. The option of flaming arrows, it is truly the weapon of noble. And then there's Sir Dan. Congratulations. <laughs> yes, you don't quite have my breeding, Mr. Johnny come lately, but there's hope for you yet. Yeah. Hey, look, I could shoot things this way. Yeah. Dan Cam! The Dan Cam! Uh oh, look at that landing. Look at all my chalices. Yeah. Alright, David, so where are we off to next in the next episode? The, uh. favorite level of the original creator. The maze? The maze. All right. Well, everybody, join us next time when we go into the maze. It solves riddles. Bye, everybody. Bye.